is Saturday night your last fight at 135 pounds? I'm going to wait till the fight's over and see how I do. I, I do plan on thoroughly smashing this dude up, something serious. And after that, maybe I'll drink a couple happy dads. They'll give me a sponsorship instead. And uh, be, maybe the Nook boys will be hanging out with me and dropping drop in Sean. Uh, we'll see. But we'll see how this fight goes. I do my job. I do it with style points. I'll be looking at and having my sights at 145. Yeah. And um, right now, Volkanovski has no title defense booked. A lot of people think that Ilya Perfect is timing. next. Uh, do, you think, you, do you think you can surpass him and end up fighting for the belt next at 145? I, I think the timing could work out. It just really depends on how this fight goes. I mean, maybe Sean is so well prepared that this fight ends up becoming a war more than I expect it to be. You know, I'm expecting the best Sean O'Malley to show up. Proper takedown defense. I'm sure he brought in great guys. Even though he said he hasn't, I'm sure he's not that dumb. I'm pretty sure he brought in some high-level training. He's brought some good wrestlers in. Um, and I know some of the wrestlers that he trains with. So it, we'll see. We'll see how the fight plays out, and uh, we'll go from there. I, I don't like to count the birds in the bush, man. I like the birds in hand. So let me deal with this, get through this guy the way I think that I can, look good doing it, and then from there I think I'd be hard to deny. And just last one, since you have your eyes on 145 and that's like something you want to do in the future, um, if Volkanovski does end up defending, defending the belt against Ilya Topuria, how do you see that fight going? And what do you make of Ilya Topuria, who's been uh, you know, a rising contender in that division and it seems that he's the next guy in line? I think Ilya is really, really good. I think he's dangerous boxing. I think that's the difference between him and Volk. But Volk's got some really good feints, footwork. Ilya is more stationary, uh, typically tends to just walk you down, put the hands on you. He's got good anti-wrestling. So I am interested to see how that fight goes. They're, they're both relatively the same height, same size. Um, I, I do lean towards Volkanovski because I think he just mixes it up a little bit more than Taporia. If Taporia adds in those kicks, I think it makes his game a little bit more well-rounded and it brings a different, a different wrinkle to the game other than just training for boxing where Volk just has to stay on the outside, touch him up with calf kicks, inside leg kicks. Um, clinch him up the way he did Jose Aldo when they fought. And that can make things tricky for Taporia. So Taporia has to do his homework if he wants to get his hand raised in that matchup.